Welcome back to Tomb Raider Tuesday. I am your host, Alex, also known as Solanus Dracone. As you can see, after having getting clonked in the last episode by Evosh, then now we are waking up on an oil rig with all of our guns and stuff stripped from us. I'm surprised the clothes aren't stripped. But we do have um, more or less all the ammo clips we brought with us. We just don't have any weapons. So our first order of business is going to be to get the hell out of here. Trouble is, this door is closed. So our first task is we have got to get the way out. Now there are a number of ways you could go about this particular task, moving these boxes about and whatnot, but uh, I'm honestly just going to try the uh, blitz approach. Pull this one back. And just pull it back one more time. Okay. Now we more or less have our course plotted for us. We run back here and throw this switch. And that's going to open up the door for us. And now we are on a timed door at this moment. So at this point... Try not to do that shit. We run on out. Now immediately, that's going to alert the guards. There are a number of ways to handle this. You can go in and meet them head on and all that, but I'm gonna try a slightly safer approach. So you swim underneath the plane and what you are wanting to do is head for this switch that's over on the far wall. Gotta be careful around here. If we go even a little bit more to the right, we will fall into the trap of the spinny propeller and die. So by far the safest way to approach that is to go swim back just a bit. Swim back just a bit, surface for some air. Good, good. And now the safe point to begin swimming from is where these barrels are. You wanna bear to the right and that will allow you to get safely into this door over here. Now you'll notice the Jade Dragon is behind that fan. We can't really do a lot about getting it for the moment. So you just swim through this corridor here. It's Again, it's by far the safest way to handle it. Just swim, swim, swim. And just surface for a breath of oxygen. Now we do want to go back and get that dragon, so we're going to go ahead and pull this switch here. And now that we pulled that switch, that will have opened the little trap door that was keeping the dragon in place. Now this is going to be a bit of a rough swim here, but I think we can manage it. We go back and immediately dart underneath, get over here, Grab the dragon while you can. Don't worry, you're safe behind here. Okay. Now we're going to see if we can manage to uh, get the oxygen approach. Just try to exit very carefully. And we'll swim straight up. Alright. So, that having been accomplished, I think it's prudent to do a save. Yep. Just the good old prudent save. And now we swim back down in there. And just go through this long corridor back to where we were. Again, by far the safest way, we avoid taking any unnecessary damage that way. And our next order of business is we have got to get our guns back. The guns are inside the plane. We can't necessarily get up onto the plane at this moment because the propeller is spinning. I'll show you what I mean. Do to do to do to do do to do to do. Okay, so what we're supposed to be doing is we're supposed to be jumping over to that wing and pulling ourselves up. Now I understand that it's also a thing you could do, which you know I might give it a try. We can try and glitch ourselves onto the uh, top of that plane there. I guess it doesn't really save much time, but it's worth giving a shot to. Yep, that gets us handy on top of the plane. 
Now, uh, just run over here, and that allows us to grab our pistols nice and neat. Now, of course, I'll show you the other way that it could have been done, but it's just nice to have our pistols back. So, now that we've got our pistols, we are in a better position to actually protect ourselves from the goons. And just swim over here. And we actually have to kill the goon with the gun because he's got the key card to let us get out of here. This guy drops not too difficult, but he's got a friend back there. Yep. Yep, and he drops nice and neat. So, okay. Go and grab our little med kit from this guy. And uh, don't bear too hard to the right because you can launch those, uh, you'll launch those barrels and that, that can be trouble. Unfortunately, no, that does not actually kill anybody. It just, uh, you know, it's a hazard. So that alarm is sounding like nuts, it's pissing me off, but here's how we were supposed to technically go about the way of getting into the plane, okay? We would have dropped off here, you know, when we were first there, and hit that button. That would drop the plank that's under there. And now we would swim up into the airplane, through this hatch. And hit this button on this wall. Which stops the engine. And, of course, um... Pretty much what you would do, otherwise, if you weren't, you know, glitching it out like I had been, you would uh, then run from a little platform. I, I will show you that in just a second. I'm, I'm just wasting a bit of time here. I did the dank already, if you call it a dank, but, you know, it's worth knowing how it otherwise could be done. Because, again, I could have just run through this area there, and even though those uh, windows wouldn't have been able to penetrate, I wouldn't have been able to blow them out, I have successfully and easily rolled through them, so that is another way you could get to it. Anyhow, what you do is you just run onto this platform here, and you notice that the little sort of scaffolding gate thing that's on the end is clipped at the edge. You can pretty much jump through the propeller and grab onto the plane, and that's how you're supposed to do it. Uh, obviously, I did it a different way. Now, with this yellow pass card, we can open up this door back here. Open up the doors. Uh, one of the first things I consider it absolutely necessary to do is to hit this fucking button, which will shut the goddamn alarm off. There will be another alarm later on, but I just wanted to shut that one the fuck off. Dog. And there's a dude. Good, good, good. All right. Now, we don't really need to come this way just yet. Uh -huh. Just get our Uzi clips from him. But we still probably want to trip all this stuff while we're here, so... Run past this little spot right here. That unleashes the barrels, which would otherwise have myrtleized you. And this is going to be your end goal destination. You want to get through this door, but you need the red pass card to do it. Let's just go ahead and put a save here. Perfect. And move along. Next order of business. Because we've got so many orders of business. Have your pistols out and just be ready to wreak a little bit of havoc here. Because I fully expect that I'm going to be accosted. You just turn the wheel. At all times, be ready for adversity. I hear the bastard. Wah! Motherfucker got in behind me. I fell prey to that. Okay. 
Then this other asshole comes in from the door up there. Plenty of time to take him down. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And now, we open this. We could go up that ramp. Nothing wrong with going up that ramp. Don't need to go up that ramp. There's that guy down. And in this room are a couple of nice little goodies there. Some clips for my auto pistols, which are nice. And some harpoons. Harpoons, you say? Hmm. Interesting new weapon, maybe? Just gonna grab my guns, just to be sure. I don't think I'm in any trouble. No, I'm not. Alright, so I believe that on one of these, it's not just a matter of belief, on one of these there is the, uh, there are my auto pistols. There they go. Just grab this. Uh -huh. And now we have back our auto pistols. Excellent. I'm not going to make use of them just yet, but uh, they're nice to have. I don't tend to waste them on uh, g goons with sticks. So okay. now we find our awesome new weapon, the harpoon gun. It is our only gun that can actually be used underwater. Mm. Now, just for fun, I'm going to go out and see what was at the top of that ramp there. Even though I have a suspicion. Oh. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> they just closed the damn door. Don't worry, there's another way out. What you do is, in, back, in the, uh, back in the bunks here... You just pull yourself up onto this one, hit the switch to drop the door at the end, and even though it is a time switch, you have plenty of time. You do not need to rush. So you want to pull yourself up onto this bed here, turn around, jump up here, and that's your way forward. Now here, this is a sliding slope up ahead. And we're going to save, even though I know what the trick is to this, I'm going to save anyways because it's just a s smart idea. And what you want to do is you'll actually want to approach this in reverse because what's going to happen is, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a troll there. Pretty much if you were to go down that face first, you would have fell to your death. Here you just get to grab onto the ladder and jank your way down. So this is our next puzzle we have to deal with. We have to get to that ladder that's across there. Can't be done over these flames as such. But... If we were to pull the barrels out, or boxes rather, excuse me. Gonna have to do both of them, I'm afraid. One of them has to be pushed forward far enough onto this section right up here that has, has to be pushed up against it otherwise not going to be dual so this one gets pulled out and then we just go behind it and push it all right and that technically is all we need to do from here, we have a clean jump over to the ladder. Just make sure we're properly lined up. Toasty bum right now. And then just pull ourselves up. Probably gonna save at the top of this too. Yep, probably a good idea to save. And right now, remember, we're still going for that red key card. The red card is what we're still trying to get, despite being going through like half of the whole fucking place. This is just a simple stick thug. You see him coming, you can easily knock his ass down. He's got the red card, yay! 
But there is one other thing to be aware of in the section. There's this ladder off to the side. And I don't know, this has to be one of the biggest gimmies on this because this is where the secret is up here. Also, you know, nice view. I'm not just talking about her ass. But yeah, we get to see the top of the oil rig. Nothing but black sea as far as the eye can see. Ooh. Storm clouds gather. Nice little touch I think they threw in there. Wee. Nope. I just died. <laughs> Stupid fucking. All right, yeah, that that would have been a deadly drop no matter what I did. So, yeah. Kind of my own fault. Totally my own fault. 100% my own fault. But it's not honestly worth cutting that part out because we're right there. And thank goodness it's not like a super long ass level like the damn Opera House. Right, uh -huh. let's grab the card key again. Let's head back up D Lador. kind of cool to hear the little ambience of the uh, industrial background music going on there. Alright, bit of a dangerous jump that, but nothing too bad. And let's try this again, less stupidly. There we go. Okay, so where does this take us? Let's double check. Okay, this takes us here, at the top of this room, which is about where we started. Remember, this is the room which had the switch, where you pulled, and you got the Jade Dragon. So now we're just going back out into the hangar bay. Third Dragon is not for a considerable time more in this stage, but it is a bit of a doozy full of danger and death and all that stuff. Big impressive room full of danger and death. So we've already tripped all of these traps, so we have nothing to worry about in this section here. Just gonna make another save. It never hurts to save before you attempt something stupid. You might not want to save just after having tried something stupid, because then you're locked into the stupid but it is worth saving before you try something stupid. As soon as we get in here, shotgun guy. And he's down pretty quickly. And we did have an asshole rollicking about out there, but he's just a stick asshole and we don't need to worry about him all that much. He'll be back. We will make him come back. Get the fuck back over here. Oh, another one. Look at these guys coming to their death. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. A few more flares, not that I need them. And we got another fucking alarm going off. All right, so um, this is a little bit of a box puzzle. Not too hard, really, just tedious. You take the box, you push the box this way. Notice the thug embedded in the wall. Then you turn around, run out here, drop over the edge. Cumbersome. And then you pull yourself up here. And you pull it out one. And then you go back behind it again. Oh my god. Go back behind it again and push it out the final bit. And then, of course, you run back out. All this for a flipping box puzzle. 
Now then, why did we just do that? There's so much more of the stage this way, isn't there? Well, the problem with this is that, I will show you, our goal is to get to the other side. However, this is a problem. Now, if you fall down in here, as you can see, there is a ladder. You're not really in any trouble of not being able to make it back out, but you won't be able to move forward. So, okay, miscalculated the jump, should have been grabbing. No big deal. That's not a deadly mistake. Not a deadly mistake. Let's get it right this time. And then our next order of business is to get ourselves up into that section. Okay, now I wonder. Yep, that's fine. Another save. When you're going into the unknown, good idea to save. So our goal is going to be to fill up that empty area there so that we can get the F across. I don't... Nope, we definitely see somebody back here. And he is firing at us. We have quite a few large med kits, so it's worth using at this point. What do you drop, asshole? Uh -huh. Just some shotgun shells. Okay, fair enough. You'll notice there is a uh, slightly off-color tile here. And for this, we need a green key card, which we don't have. We will have it, though. Over here, a switch. And that has moved the water from one tank to another. So now, we can run out there and uh, swim across. Uh, don't don't just drop out here because this is you know potentially a dangerous drop. You know just take a little bit of precaution. Take take just a little bit of precaution there. And now we can safely swim across this area. Goody goody. Now our next order of business is to jump over there, although that can be a little bit tricky with the way that these, uh, that, <laughs> the way that this is laid out. So we should be able just to do that, yeah. If you land pretty much on top of them, then it'll just automatically switch you over to the top of the thing. And that has opened that hatch. Okay. Now just so that we can see what's up over here, this would have been the area that we just came from. Unfortunately, I don't believe... Yeah. What we're pretty much going to have to do is drop through that little latch there. Drop through that hatch that was in that room. Just head on up. And uh, if we just do a single jump from about this distance at this angle, we will land tidily on top of that. Just gonna double check there's nobody down here. We still don't have the green key card. That will become important at some point soon, but we don't have it yet. All right, drop on down have guns ready, just in case. Ooh, I think I know what room this is. Yes, this is a big impressive room full of danger. Now you're gonna notice, all the way over there, there is the golden dragon. But you also gotta be aware that in the water, there are harpoon guys. I'm gonna try to bait them out just a little bit here. As you can see, there's also a thug hanging around the corner there with a gun. Now, these guys can hit you from where they are. But... Their aim is pretty shit, and they're not able to do a fuck ton of damage. I just want to take out as many of these assholes as possible.
Now I can see here that he is sort of, you know, treading water. So that means he's still alive. Let me double check. Anybody shooting at me? No? Okay, good. There is clearly a thug behind there. I don't know if we can actually shoot at him from where we are. But I see you, bro. I see you, okay? You're there. I see you. I believe we should have gotten our shotgun back by this point, to be honest. So I'm wondering if perhaps I missed it somewhere. Oh well, no matter. I'm gonna prepare the auto pistols. And now I'm dropping down in here. Yeah, this guy's dead already. No, the harpooners don't actually drop anything. I think there's probably one more. You can actually hear them breathing. So, I'm taking this approach because uh, of all those thugs that were hanging out upstairs. They were uh, sort of kind of, you know, I'm in the path. Yep. And of course there's that asshole up there. Who I'm actually gonna bother with the pistols. Just because I want him dead quickly. Uh -huh. He's got a med kit. Let's grab the dragon. Uh -huh. And we get our Uzis back. Splendid. Oh, whoop, 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 okay. These guys are already seeing me and firing upon me. Yeah, he's firing. He's not hitting me. He's a little bit too far for me to do anything about at the moment. So, guess I'm just gonna have to jump. Alright, now that I've gotten all three secrets... I'm kind of wondering, where the hell did I leave the shotgun? I'd kind of like the shotgun back. I guess I don't get it back. Yep. Alright, we've got eyes on this sucker. He's standing still. I guess I killed him. One of these platforms has something you can use to get yourself back up. Just gonna swim around the area here, see where it is. Because I'm pretty sure we're in here just for the sole purpose of getting the damn green key card. That would absolutely suck balls if that's all we're here for. Yep, look, here it is. The way up. Just shimmying myself over just a bit, so that way I can make sure I'm actually on the ladder. And shimmy, shimmy, shimmy onto the side there. Good, good, good. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take out my Uzis, because I feel like we're going to have need of them. And also, we've got a considerable amount more ammo for them than we do for the auto pistols. So just jump across and do a grab. This is why I like to clear out the rooms as soon as I enter them. There's my shotgun. There's my shotgun. Oh, I missed you, baby. I missed you so much. Fuck. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Nice. All right. So, now that we're up here in this area, we're more or less trying to take the upper pads. Ooh! Ow! Small med kit. He'll be dead. Gotta watch out for these shotgun guys. They are so deadly. And I can totes see you over there, bro. I can totes 100% see you. God, they're just gonna ambush me and ambush me, and ambush me. It's gonna suck. Oh well. Seriously, I am looking right at you. Look, I can see you from here. If I had the M16, I would be mowing your ass down. 
Alright. Yes. Now. You die. Thank you. Alright. That looks like a way up and out. But I'm gonna just go check what that guy dropped. It could be impotent. And can I get over to that spot? Is that jumpable? Oh yeah, that's 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 gotta be jumpable. Beautiful. You didn't drop a damn thing. But this does get us into the green key card. I'm not gonna waste a bullet, I'm just gonna use my regular pistols. And now I has the green key card, so let me just go ahead and save. And I've pretty much gotten everything I needed to. I don't know what happened to my grenade launcher, but I'm sure I'll get another one in plenty of time. Whatever this guy dropped, I don't have access to it anymore. I'm afraid. Okay, can I get back over in this direction? I think so. Yay. That would be better as a running jump. Thankfully here, the, um, the penalties aren't as harsh. Because if you fall, for the most part, it's falling into water. But we've got the green key card now. And what that should mean is that now we can open up that door to switch the water between the two tanks. And my god, this is a convoluted stage. Let me just have my Uzis out in case I run into any opposition. This is a vertical ass run, too. Let me just double check that where I'm going is safe. I mean, this is the only direction to go, right? I admit, I have not played this far in years. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty rusty right now. I'm pretty blind run as far as what I recall. I am sort of kind of looking at other people's uh, Tomb Raider 2 playthroughs just to kind of get my mind around where they're going. Because I ran these paths once, I just can't remember the exact routes. That was just a, uh, that was just a bat-holding thug. And I still didn't trust him. So what's this way again? Okay, yeah. That's fine. We are where we want to be. Alright. Head on in here. Use the green pass card. And that opens this door. Since that door is open, now we can switch the water back between tanks. See? And now that we're on the middle, yeah, you see where we're going with this. Now that we're on the middle, we can finally get over. I'm gonna do another save. Good, good, good and just pretty much swim across. End of stage more or less reached. Let's just see if there's anything else they want to throw in our direction. Okay, a switch. Don't forget that. That's important. No! Don't get stuck on scenery. Alright, so that is the offshore rig. Our time taken was 31 minutes 24 seconds. Secrets found, all of them. 20 kills, 588 ammo used, 522 hits, 1.5 health packs used, and 2.35 kilometers distance traveled. Alright, so successful episode complete. I uh, want to remind everybody once again to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Once again, my name is Alex, also known as Solonis Dracone, and this has been Tomb Raider Tuesday. Thank you very much, and I'm going to enjoy some kimchi-flavored Lay's chips. Good night!